Yo guys, what is up? This is um, Ethan from and you're coming back at you again with a different type of video. Today we're going to be going over how to install RTX Voice. And RTX Voice is essentially what I've been using in my videos for the Discord.py series recently. And it takes your voice from this. And then we need to know who they kicked. And, and then it changes it over to something like it is now. Where you can't hear my keyboard sounds. You can't hear anything I'm pressing with the mouse, the scroll wheel, any of that. If it does pop off, pop off. It's uh, quite minimal. But anyway, we're going to be going through and showing you how to set this up. It used to be the point that you couldn't do this on uh, GTX cards, but that's been patched. So you don't have to worry about going through the installer to manually delete the constraints. So now pretty much you just want to give it over to NVIDIA's website. You can just Google the RTX voice setup guide and it should pop up and then you can just go through. And if you want a little overview about what it does and what it does in a bit more of a technical sense, than here as well but pretty much all you need is to go in here and install it if you've got an rtx card i would recommend the nvidia broadcast software it's got this uh, plus it's got some more stuff like video backgrounds and cool things but i've got a gtx card i can't use that so pretty much all you have to do is go ahead download rtx voice i've already got it downloaded but pretty much just download save about 400 megabytes so it will take a while but i've got that good internet so it should open up in a few seconds and then you're just gonna follow the setup guide i'm not gonna go through the setup guide um because i've already got it installed and that will actually ruin the recording because i'm currently using nvidia rtx uh, voice so it'll just play up with the mic and things but pretty much it'll pop up you're gonna just pick what you want go through and then once it's installed um so you're just going to click through the installer it'll pop up with a little thing like this so if you need to restart i just restart the system but there'll just be a checkbox you just go through you just click through it or install it's really self-explanatory and then once you're finished with that and restarted your computer it'll give you a little bit like this so you just pick the input device i'm using my microphone i'm removing background noise from my microphone and that's doing what it is doing so if we uncheck this now and i start typing on my keyboard for example like just pressing the keys like you know just pressing spacebar all of that you might be able to hear it i'm not quite too sure if it works on the fly um but now we'll turn it back on and now if i start pressing the spacebar i don't know if you guys can hear it but that's basically how it works it runs in the background so that'll be running in the background if you want to actually close it you've got to come down here and close it type of thing but it's quite nice so anyway we're not going to get that good old recursion going because I'm going to show you how you can use it in OBS. So all we're going to do is I'm going to pull this over here. You get to see this nice beautiful recursion. You're just going to go in here. You're going to go to properties and then it's going to create a virtual voice. And so you're just going to use that. Pretty much you've got my normal microphone and then the NVIDIA RTX software will create a virtual microphone and you're just going to use that. It's clearly illustrated and that's the one that you will want. Same with Discord. It's pretty self-explanatory. Pull up uh, the Discord over here. You just go into user settings, just go to voice and video, just click whatever you want, whether you want NVIDIA RTX voice, HyperX quad class, which is my actual microphone, and then for the output, you can do it with removed background sounds as well, and that's pretty much pretty easy to use, pretty self-explanatory if you just follow the setup guide here. We've also got an app configuration page for all of the relevant apps that you might need, um, but really, is that a virtual uh, nvidia rtx voice and you're good to go so i hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this but put it something else it's informational and uh you know go out there use it enjoy it peace out guys